today I want to get into Hype reporting on BTS and what is believed to be happening there. I want to get into Hype saying that Jimin doesn't want to be in BTS anymore, and then we have Dispatch posting something very interesting. So hey Dumplings, this is Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your Dumplin, taste smelling mug merch, and let's go. It seems like Jungkook has been very busy with his stuff, but it also seems like he has made time to make more personal appearances, it seems, to do things that are maybe not on his schedule, but he just wants to do because it seems fun. So what am I talking about here? Apparently it was reported that Tan and one of his friends went to a movie premiere. The movie is called Concrete Utopia, and there was footage of him literally entering the theater for the premiere. It was initially just believed that it would just be him. Now this wasn't a super public event that was announced, and I'm sure there were some fans there, but it probably was only people who were in the area or people that received the press release notice that Tan would be there. One of the reporters that were there was none other than our good friend Dispatch Bebe. If you are not aware, they are usually the ones that expose these dating rumors of K-pop idols. And when someone says Dispatch is announcing things, it is believed that it's correct and it will be accurate. However, no news site is infallible and of course they will make mistakes with those things, which of course is something to take in mind when people do quote or talk about Dispatch as a reliable source. Dispatch live streamed the event in which Tan had made an appearance, and allegedly in the comments, it was believed that Dispatch reported that Jungkook had attended too, but Jungkook never made any public appearances. Of course, take this with a grain of salt, as I mentioned earlier, and then of course, we don't know if this comment is accurate or if it was photoshopped. Now, this is interesting, right? Because why would Jungkook attend a premiere that has nothing to do with him, and then him having so much work to do on his own solo stuff, that he would even have time to attend an event that doesn't involve him. This is the part that makes me believe it's not true because if he's working with all these brands promoting Seven, doing press and performances, what time is left to privately attend a movie premiere that Tang isn't even in the movie of? Now, there probably exists videos and clips of him actually at the event, but I can't find it as it was a big trending thing and people were posting photos of him in the outfit they believe he wore to the premiere, so it's definitely hard to deny there. However, rumors have circulated with much less evidence, and then there being non-legit news sites that aren't even verified posting about this makes this very interesting to me, or makes me feel like it's less and less legit. Now, people are coming out saying that Jungkook was on the list of attendees, but there are no photos or videos of him actually in the theater room. If this is real, then sure, I'll eat my words, but aside from this possibly just being fake news to spread a narrative, but it also makes it look like someone at Jungkook's level just has a plethora of time. They're just like us. They're so available to just hang out with their friends and do whatever they want. It also causes a big misunderstanding and big disconnect between what a celebrity's job is and what is considered downtime. Celebrity attending a movie premieres are there to generate press for the movie, their appearance is them working, they had to get ready, they had to attend the red carpet event, and they had to sit through a movie they may or may not care about. It's not the hardest job in the world, but they might not want to be there. Oftentimes it makes no sense, even if Jungkook and Tan were hanging out every day, for Tan to invite Jungkook who is likely doing his own appearances and working. And people often eat up these rumors because they don't believe celebrities work or have jobs that require effort. And thus it glamorizes the industry, and an industry that if they knew more about, they may be less interested in pursuing a career with. This was definitely an interesting report. Another interesting report is what Hype has released for their quarter. This is basically a summary of how their company is doing. You might think this isn't necessary to release, but it definitely is. They are on the public stock market and they have a legal obligation to make sure that they report on their earnings and any issues to the stockholders. Most people think that most of the earnings that I will talk about are coming from the BTS members' solo activities, but I want to say that the BTS revenue hold in the company has significantly been reduced. It used to almost be like 90 or 100%, whereas I'm sure they are not that way anymore. However, it was a bit shocking to see exactly what other revenue sources have been driving the stock or the company's profits up. So apparently the world tours that Suga has been doing has been a big factor, TXT's live performance has been a, another factor, and then it's Seventeen's fan meeting. These are the higher contributors to the success, and this is happening because this then tells us exactly what groups and artists are going to blow up and be the next big contributor to Hive. Apparently the increase was over 85%, which is a big indicator that Seventeen and TXT are definitely on the rise to become an even bigger global star than they already are. 
something that might contribute to a higher stock price is actually what the CEO of Hive announced they will be doing with Weavers. They are implementing a membership plus thing and they also added SM artists to Weavers. So hopefully Weavers will become this place where all K-pop artists go to communicate with their fans and become this next big thing. I am definitely very excited to see what the growth and expansion of Weavers is by simply implementing these artists to the platform. The platform's user base increases with every artist they bring. So it's definitely good to know while BTS is still affecting the growth of the company that if you are an investor of Hybe, there is definitely still hope your investments could pan out even without BTS. And by the way, this is not investment advice. I know nothing about this stuff, but just giving you the data. So please do your own research, but it makes me happy when I know Hive is constantly expanding. This also means the artists I just mentioned will probably soon be getting bigger promotions and push as their budget increases. So if the label is seeing that half of their revenue is coming from a TXT, they're more willing to drop a million dollars on a TXT music video as opposed to if they weren't bringing the company too much money. The logic these companies follow is that if they spend a penny on something, they better make back too. All this news comes at an interesting time when the fandom actually believes Jimin won't be staying with BTS or won't be going to the reunion. And a lot of this comes from the fact that they believe Jimin actually said this himself. There is this game that Hype created for BTS called In The Seum. This is basically the boys all on an island together and you can play with the boys to have them do songs, do dances, and do random island activities. It's a way for armies to connect with the boys virtually and it's constantly updating with new features to keep users coming back and also allows users to stay on their toes. The dialogue is supposed to represent the members and be true to what they actually say and go through. This has been a way for the BTS members to interact and remain close to all the armies. There also has been a new part of the game that was added where Jimin was getting super emotional. Obviously something happened and Jimin was talking about how he was burdened to the other members and then he even asked if he could just go ahead and leave the group. This is quite interesting and many fans were upset that this was something that is being put into the game. Many were saying this is supposed to be a fantasy game that isn't supposed to have stuff like this, and then on top of that, even if it was true, why is it in the game? People were protesting online and demanding that Hybe apologize to Jimin and that Hybe take this part of the game out. And this makes zero sense to me. It's like these fans literally explain why it needs to be in the game and then just ignore it but demand an apology. One person literally wrote in a tweet with screenshots of the game to say, did Jimin even say all these things behind closed doors? Why would you put it in there? Well, did he? Do you know if he did? And the answer is you don't know. So why are you so confident that he did it? It's pretty obvious that every member often feels like they're not contributing enough or not good enough. Every single artist in the world feels like that constantly. So why would Jimin be excluded from that? And like what I just mentioned, none of us know what Jimin says behind closed doors. And none of us know Jimin better than Hype does. There's also this idea that the members are working on the game with the developers, so they're likely feeding lines or thinking of things to implement in the game. So it is likely that Jimin wanted to put that in there and then the fans are now attacking Hype over something that Jimin wanted to put in there. I also don't understand how this is something that even if Hype put into the game, that Hype would need to apologize for. A member feeling like they're not good enough is a very normal feeling that every artist has. This isn't mocking Jimin or saying that he actually is a burden. Others then came on to say that if this means that Jimin won't be joining BTS going forward, if he wants to leave, or if Jimin is not going to do the reunion since this is something that is being said right now. However, I think this game is just supposed to be a thought and almost a diary for the members, not an indication of if or if they will not continue their personal obligations. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you so much for the comments right here. Love you. Bye.